often say to me, what's your favourite year, what was your most significant year um, in the world? And I often say, I'm pretty sure it was 1979, uh, Lord Mountbatten had just been killed by the IRA and uh, a few other people as well. The Sony Walkman just got uh, pipped to the post by a competitor, something about the Sony Walkman. Uh, and also China just implemented the uh, one child per family rule, so that's... Alright, anyway, so I just grabbed this Fender Champ from 1979, got it for a pretty cool price, especially considering the condition this thing's in. So I believe this was built in the 15th week of 1979 according to the original speaker, and uh, that makes it like April the 10th-ish which is almost exactly 10 years before I was born, which is kind of cool. So anyway, I've been uh, playing with it and it does champ things. Um, sounds really cool, I think, and the, the track that you just heard, all I've done is added delay, not delay, uh, reverb to the guitar, so no compressor or anything like that, and that's basically just how the champ sounds into that origin spirit. I think it is. Um, anyway, I really like the sound of it. The, the Fender Champ is used to be Fender's cheapest amp that they made, sort of like a budget student amp. At the same time that they made these, I think they also made the Vibro Champ, which is the same thing, but also with uh, a vibrato on it. Trem. There's trem in it, it's not a vibrato. This at the moment has got a warehouse speaker in it, um, which I'm really liking the sound of. Um, still got some of the original kind of stuff that would have come with the amp. Uh, little tag. And yeah, really happy with it. Sounds cool. Let me know if there are videos you want me to do with it. I might try and do a little video comparing the tone of this with the California Tweed on 2 watts. I've also created some Kemper profiles of the two tones that you heard me using in the intro and Quad Cortex profiles. So just leave a comment below if you want to check those out and uh, I'll put those into the Kemper folder and uh, if someone comments that they want it on the Quad Cortex I'll upload that to the cloud as well but yeah really happy with that I'll show you the original speaker as well here's the original here's the original speaker quite a lightweight thing um, the warehouse one that's in there is way more substantial so that's probably what I'll end up using way more you can see here the year ends 79 and 15, which I think means it was made in week 15 of 1979. So why a champ? I guess the thing is that this does a really cool clean tone, um, sounds great with a strap and this little piece of history. So I figured it's a cool little thing that doesn't take up too much space in the house. And uh, will I ever gig it? Possibly like a cafe gig take like an HX effect to this, that might work. But yeah, super cool. Not necessarily the most usable thing in the world ever, but I think for home recording and stuff, certainly the Champ can do a thing. And I think the video shows that, hopefully. So hopefully that was vaguely interesting. Let me know in the comments if you've got other things you want me to try out with the Champ, uh, or other videos you want me to try and make with it. You'll probably see it a few more times because it's really cool. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you want. And I'll catch you in a bit soon. Cheers.